since we already know how to find the area under the standard normal curve, so next is finding the probabilities of normally distributed random variables. Okay? A normal distribution curve can be used as the probability distribution curve for a normally distributed values or variables. The area under the standard normal distribution curve can be also thought of as a probability. So in short, the area under the, uh, no the standard normal curve is also the uh, probability. Okay? So the area to the left of x, random variable x, which is equal to small x, is the probability from uh, negative infinity to x, or denoted by random variable x less than small x. Okay? And then the area to the right of random variable x, which is equal to small x, is the probability from x to a positive infinity or denoted by the probability of random variable x greater than small x. And then the area between the values, the, between the two values of x, which is a and b, is the probability between a and b, which is denoted by x is, great, x is greater than a but less than b. The probability of an exact value of x, which is equal to small x, is 0. Denoted by x is equal to small x, which is equal to 0. Okay? For the probabilities of a normal distributed random variable, variables, so when you must find the value of a random variable, you can use the following formula. So a random variable x is equal to z, which is your z value, multiplied by the standard deviation plus the mean. Okay? So for example, number 5. So example number five. I'm going to read the problem. In a certain high school, the heights of the students are normally distributed with a mean of 100 cm or centimeters and a standard deviation of 10 centimeters. Okay? Letter A. Find the probability that the no random randomly selected students will be less than 155 cm tall. So find the probability that a randomly selected student, so we can represent this as x because it says randomly, okay, will be less than, so less than 155, okay? So we need to determine the probability of this one. So how do we do that? First, solve for z-score, okay? So z-score is equal to x minus the mean over the standard dev. Okay? So here, your x is 155 minus the mean, which is 160, over the standard dev, which is 10. Okay? So get your calculator. So we have 155 minus 160 divided by 10. So that will be negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 okay next what's next so the probability that x is less than 155 is the same as the probability that z is less than negative 0 0.5 okay they are the same so draw a normal curve the middle is zero where is negative 0 0.5 so here negative 0 0.5 less than negative 0 0.5 so this is your negative 0 0.5 so less than so if you have noticed the uh, shaded portion is located to the left to the left so that would be so what would be the area so the area in getting the area get the table so negative 0 0.5, so negative 0 0.5, negative, negative 0, negative 0 0.5 here. So the area or the probability is 0 0.3085 or is the same as 30.85%. So they are both the same. Okay? Remember the probability and percentage is the same. Since the total, the highest number in probability is 1, which is mean 100%.
So your answer can be a percentage or a decimal number. Okay, so 0.3085 or 30.85%. Okay, so that's the probability or the percentage that the random selected student will be less than 155 cm tall. Okay, next, letter B. So for letter B, find the probability that the random selected students will be taller. So the probability that the random stu students or student will be taller. When we say taller, meaning greater. So that will be greater than 168. So same procedure. First, solve for Z score or Z value. So Z is equal to X minus the mean over the standard deviation. So your X is 168, and your mean, going back to the problem, is 160 over 10. Okay? So get your calculator, perform the operation. So 168 minus 160 divided by 10. So that will be 0.08. Okay? Point 0 0.8. I stand corrected. 0 0.8. <laughs> 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 okay so going back so 0 0.8 so draw a normal curve okay so 0 at the middle so where is 0 0.8 obviously 0 0.8 is a positive so it should be located on the right of 0 okay here assuming that this is 0 0.8 okay this one this is one is your 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 greater than so going to the right so the shaded portion will be on the right side. So therefore, the probability that X is greater than 168 is the same as the probability that Z score is greater than 0.8. So how do we get the uh, probability or the percentage? So that would be 1 minus the area of 0.8. So what is the area of 0 0.8? 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Area of point eight. Area of point eight. This one. So that will be point seven eight eight one. So that will be one, which is one minus point seven seven. I don't know, seven eight eight one. So that will be zero point two one one nine. That's it. Okay? Okay. Letter C. Any more question? 0.2119 or the equivalent of that in percentage is 21.19%. Okay? Next, letter C. Find the probability that the height of the random selected student will be between 165 and 175. So that will be the probability that the random student is greater than, of course, you need to uh, uh, pick the sm uh, smaller number, which is 165, okay? but less than the higher number, or the highest number, which is 175. Okay? So how do we read that? So x is greater than 165, the smallest number, but less than 175. Okay? So how do we solve this? So same thing with the previous example. Solve for z score of each okay so that will be z is equal to 165 minus 160 over 10 so this is your first z value okay and then your second z value that will be 175 minus 160 over 10 okay so get your calculator so 165 minus 160 Divided by 10, 165 minus 160 divided by 10, so that will be 0.5. Okay, next, the other one, 175 minus 160 divided by 10, that will be 1.50. Okay, or 1.5, they're still the same. Okay, so how do we determine now? Remember that the probability that X is greater than 165 but less than 175 is the same as the probability that Z 
is greater than 0.5 but less than 1.50. Okay? So, how do we find the probability or the area? So, since first get the area of the two given Z values. So, what is the area of the first Z value? So, the area is 0.5. 0.5. So that will be 0.5 is this one. 0 0.6915. 0 0.6915. Next, 1.50. 1.50. This one. 0 0.9332. Okay? If you have noticed, the area of the second Z value is higher than the area of the first Z value. So therefore, the probability of x is greater than 165 but less than 175 or the probability that z is greater than 0.5 but less than 1.5 is the difference of the two area. Okay? So what do you mean by that one? So the difference of the area of the second z value and the first z value. So we need to write first the second z value since it has a higher value. So, 0 0.9332 minus 0.6915. So, that would be... So, 0 0.9332 minus 0 0.6915. So, that would be 0.2 four one seven that's it or in a percentage that will be 24.17 percent okay your answer can be decimal or in percentage so 0.2417 or 24.17 percent okay let's proceed now to number six example the score of the students in final examination are normally distributed with the mean of 72 and a standard deviation of 8. Letter A. Find the percentage of students who scored less than 65. When we say percentage or probability, they are the same. So we need to look for the probability or the percentage that the student who scored is less than 65. Okay? Percentage or probability. So how do we find the uh, percentage or the probability? First, solve for Z score. Okay? So, Z-score is equal to X minus the mean over the standard there. So, Z-score is equal to 65 minus the mean, which is 72 over 8. So, get your calculator. So, 65 minus 72 divided by 8. So, that will be negative 0 point, two decimal places, 88. Okay? So the percentage or the probability that the student who scored is less than 65 is the same as the probability that Z is less than negative 0 0.88. So uh, before we get the uh, probability or the percentage, first we need to draw a normal curve. Okay, zero in the middle. And then we have negative 0 0.88, which is located on the left. So negative 0 0.88. Okay? Less than. So here, less than. Here's the graph. So less than. Negative 0.88. So to determine the percentage or area, get the table. So negative 88. Negative 0. Point, this one, 88, 88. 88, 88, 88, here. Mm -hmm. So that would be 0 0.1894. But since we're talking about percentage, so therefore, that would be equal to 18.94%. Okay? Next, letter B. Find the area, find the percentage of the students who scored more than. So, find the percentage or area or the probability whose students scored more than 75. 
So, which means greater than 75. Okay? So, same thing. Solve for Z score. So, that will be Z is equal to X minus the mean over the standard M. So, that will be uh, uh, 75 minus 72 over 8. Okay? So, get the calculator. So, 75 minus 72 divided by 8. So, that will be point or 0 0.38. Okay? 0 0.38. So, the probability or the percentage that X is greater than 75 is the same as the probability that Z is greater than point, uh, 0 0.38. Okay? So, draw a normal curve. 0 in the middle. So, 0.38 located where? Okay, that's right. On the right side. So, 0.38. So, according to the problem, so this is your 0.38. Greater than 0.38, this one. So, if the shaded portion is located to the right or going to the right, how do we determine the area or the probability? Okay, that's correct. 1 minus the area of... 0 0.38 1 minus the area of 0 0.38 but how do we determine the uh, point 0.38 the area of point 0.38 get your table so get your table point 0.38 point 0.38 point 0.38 point okay here's your point 0.38 so that will be 1 minus 0.38, 0 0.6480. So therefore, the uh, percentage or the uh, probability will be 1 minus 0 0.6480. So that would be 0 0.3520 or 35.20%. Okay, let's proceed to letter C. Okay? Find the percentage or the probability of the students who scored between 77 and 93. So, how do we write that? So, the probability or the percentage, remember class, when we say probability and percentage, they are the same. Okay? In percentage, the highest value is 100%. In probability, the highest value is 1. Meaning, when we say 1, uh, it's true. It's happening. Okay? It will occur. 600 percent so that would be the probability that x is greater than okay so you choose the smallest number which is 77 but less than the highest number or the higher number which is 93 okay so same procedure solve for z score or z value okay that would be x minus the mean over the standard f let's start with the first one First, Z value. So, 77 minus the mean, which is 72, over the standard deviation. So, 77 minus 72. Okay, got your calculator. So, 77 minus 72 divided by 8. So, that will be, two decimal places, 0 0.63. Okay, next. Second, uh, value for the Z score. So that will be 93 minus 72 divided by 8. So get your calculator. 93 minus 72 divided by 8. So that will be 2.63. Okay? And then after that, get the area. Okay? If the given is in between, as is, no need to subtract, 1. Okay? As is lang yon. Okay, so 0.63. So what's the area of 0.63? 0.63. 0.63. Yeah. So that would be 0.7357. Next, 2.63. 2.63. So 2.63, that would be 0 0.9957. Okay? So, how do we determine the area or the percentage? 
Remember that the percentage or the uh, probability that x is greater than 77 but less than 93 is the same as the probability or the percentage that z is greater than 0.63 but less than 2.63. So to uh, determine the percentage of the, or the uh, probability of that one, just simply subtract. Okay? If you have noticed that the z value, the second z value, is higher than the first z value. So you need to write first the area of the second z value. So that would be uh, 9, 0.9957 minus 0.7357. Okay? So the uh, percentage or the probability will be 0.9957 minus 0.7357, which is equal to 0 0.2600, or that would be 26%. Okay? Is letter D. Above what score do you find the upper 10% of the student scores? Okay, above what score? So meaning we're talking about X. Okay, so how do we solve for X? So going back to our previous slide, X can be solved using the formula X is equal to Z multiplied by the standard deviation plus the mean. Okay, so Z z multiplied by standard division plus the mean okay so in letter d above what score do you find the upper 10 percent of the student score so when we say percentage 10 percent is the same as 0.10 10 percent 0.10 you're referring to area okay so using the normal curve zero in the middle where is 0.10 so here is 0.10 okay here this area, this one is 0.10 or 10%. Okay, ito yung 0.10. Above what score you find the upper? When we say upper 10%, greater than 10%. Okay? So, greater than 10%. So, if you have noticed that the uh, shaded portion, because we're talking about upper, upper 10%. Okay? So, the shaded portion is going to the right. So, going to the right. So, how do we do that? So, we need to determine the Z value. Okay? So, how do we determine the Z value? So, Z value is equal to 1 minus this area which is 0.10. And that will be 0.90. Okay? 0.90 or 0.900 or 0.90. So, how do we determine the Z value? So, get the table. Nasaan si 0.90? 0 0.90 0 0.90 no area area the answer is 0 0.90 so since 0 0.90 yung area is 0 0.90 so we need to look for 0 0.90 here 0 0.90 Ah, okay. Huh? No, no, no. Point nine zero zero. Where is it? Point nine zero zero. If you have noticed, point nine zero zero is between point eight nine nine seven and point nine zero one five. Huh? Point nine zero zero is between point eight nine nine seven and 0 0.9015 now which area is closer to 0 0.900 okay so get the need to get the difference so 0 0.900 minus 0 0.8997 that is 0 0.0003 and then uh, 0.9015 Minus 0 0.900, that is 0 0.0015. So therefore, 0 0.900 is closer than, huh? closer to, 
closer to 0.8997. Okay? So, 0 0.990 is closer to 0 0.8997. So, what is the Z value of 0 0.8997? So, the Z, since 0 0.9, 0 0.900 is closer to 0 0.897, okay? So, what is the Z value of 0 0.8997? So, the Z value of 0 0.8997 is 1.28. So, therefore, the z-value of 0 0.900 is 1.28. Okay, 1.28. Okay, now, that's not the uh, question. The question is, what score do you find the upper 10%? So, we need to solve for x. We already have the value of z, which is 1.28. We can now solve for the, for the uh, score. So, then you can find the upper 10% of the student scores. So, how do you solve that? x is equal to... The z value 1.28 multiplied by the standard deviation, which is 8, plus the, plus the uh, mean, which is 72. So therefore, the uh, score is 82.24. So 82.24, that is the score wherein you can find the upper 10%. So if your score is 82.23, do you think you are in the upper 10%? Okay, you can find the answer. If your score is 82.25, are you in the ten, upper 10%? Up, upper Okay. So that's our lesson for normal distribution. If you do have questions or inquiries, you can PM me for some questions. My line is 24-7. Open. Okay. God bless and have a great day. Your worksheets and activity will just check, kindly check it in your canvas from time to time.